Okay, so this is my new Boberg, obviously, and I was having a little trouble shooting it. Trigger was a bit long for me, so Arnie sent me a, a prototype trigger to try out, and I thought I would just make a quick video to uh, show how to change the trigger out in case anyone else is interested. And I want to thank Arnie for doing that. Uh, he's always been great uh, on customer service and uh, I have a lot of faith in his company. So here's the new trigger. It came with two small Allen wrenches. One for the grips and uh, one to take the set screw out of the trigger pin. So here I'm just making it safe and breaking it down. It's pretty simple. Just push the slide back and turn that takedown lever 180 degrees and the slide comes right off. Very simple engineering. Here's a quick look at how that action works. That's the transfer bar spring there. And I'll just put a piece of tape on the frame to keep from scratching the frame when I remove that spring. So next you need to remove the little set screw that holds the trigger pin, pivot pin in. And it's a little tough. I thought they had put maybe some Loctite on it, but I didn't see any. I was really afraid I was gonna break that little Allen wrench, but I finally got it loose. It's at a slight angle too, so it's pretty small, don't lose it. <laughs> now you just need to knock out the pin that uh, the trigger pivots on. Old Faithful Gorilla Tape there to save the day. This is not as hard as I made it look. You need to turn the takedown lever back in the closed position. And then you can wiggle the trigger out. Again, it's not as hard as I made it look. <laughs> It was hard uh, from this perspective to see the difference in the two triggers, but here you can see the newer triggers, the darker one on top. The radius is a little tighter, I think, which makes it shorter. And again, this was a prototype trigger that Arnie came up with. The engineering is really nice on these pistols. Things seem to just kind of fall in place when you put them back together. That pin has a little groove in it where the set screw sets in place. So you just need to make sure that groove is pointed up towards the set screw. And you just want to make sure you get that set screw down flush, you know, good and snug and below the uh, frame because that's where your 
recoil spring sets in that little track there. So now we're just going to put our transfer bar spring back on. We'll put our tape back on the frame to help protect it. And there's a little hole in the transfer bar that the spring goes into. Up there, upper right, you can see the hole that it goes into. So it's pretty simple to put back together. Just checking it for function there before I put the grips back on. So now I'm just putting the slide back on. Make sure you turn that takedown lever back around. The trigger seemed a little bit shorter wasn't drastically shorter but I did take it to the range the next day and I was able to shoot a little better. One question I have for Arnie is I kept getting these 11 pound readings on that trigger and I had ordered a 6 pound trigger spring so I'm not sure if that's my gauge or what so I'll follow up with him on that. So again, I want to thank Arnie for all of his uh, help with this pistol. It's been back a time, or I think yeah, just one time. He's fixed a few kinks in it, and it's all worked out. It seems to be working fine now. And I really appreciate the, the trigger and uh, all of his uh, dedication to customer service. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.